clean now for about um, four or five months. 67, as well I was a public so six, no, 68 I finished high school, so it was 69, 70 as a public service and I started smoking marijuana. Mm -hmm. Started out smoking marijuana. Weed in the pipe, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then graduated from that to uh, sniffing cocaine. Mm -hmm. At that time it was when a few people could afford cocaine. Mm -hmm. You know, it was just the, the drug of the the very rich people are mm -hmm. come going up, you know. And then from sniffing it to smoking it. It was mm -hmm. called free base at the time. Mm -hmm. It didn't take a toll on me until, however, when I left here and went to America. When I went to America, I was introduced to a different form of crack cocaine. Mm -hmm. you know, and it was dealing with the crack cocaine or that I started losing everything. First thing started going was <laughs> a sense of responsibility. You know, because I would duck the job, see, leave, abandon my ch ch child at school, you know, sold my jewelry, rented my car out, you know, ended up sleeping in the park, sleeping on the bridges, you know, ended up in the shelter system in America. Yeah, ended up in the, in, um, the prison system. Yes, yeah. Um, in Mount Vernon, New York, where I was living at the time, you know, caused me to run away from that year because of the drugs and alcohol, you know, and run to Stamford, Connecticut. You know, got a job at Stamford, Connecticut, and the Greenwich showboat in one of the biggest hotels in Greenwich, Connecticut. Yeah, was well, night auditor for the Greenwich showboat in, and got himself with drugs there too. Lord cost me that job. Cause we to leave, leave, connect, leave the job, mm -hmm. and then eventually I had to leave staff in Connecticut. Left there running, jump on a train half naked, you know, because I'm not okay. Went back to New York, begged my mother, got back in with her. Now today, I get up at 4.30 in the mornings, and I'm out of my yard cutting and singing. I'm not coming in now. Like I used to come in at 4 or 5 o'clock and sneak in it. I slept in the bathroom of my own home. The bathroom because I was kicked out of the house. Because I was locked out of the house. My brother told the tenants to change the padlock on the grill. Change the padlock on the back grill. Two entrances to the home. I wasn't even allowed on the premises but I jumped the fence. And there was a back bathroom that was padlocked and I took a shovel and hit that padlock off so as to access the back bathroom which is just about about half the size of this table and this lid with a toilet in the other shower and that's where I slept in for how long? for about two months that's, the, that's before I came here two weeks I sleeping in that bathroom I couldn't get a change of clothes because my clothes and everything was locked up inside the house and none of the tenants were allowed to give me anything out of there. As a matter of fact, it's one of the times when my brother came and he looked at me and he saw me in the, in the bathroom curled up. He said, this is not the purpose for the bathroom. I want you out of here. I'm going to go get the police. And he left. I left. And I didn't go back there for a couple of days. But then when I stopped back in there about 4.31 morning, I still saw it was locked. I said, okay, and I went back in there, pulled the door up, tight, shut, mm -hmm. and I stayed for about three days, locked up in that bathroom, hearing people around me and all that stuff, but inside you like that. That's the kind of lifestyle I was living at 60 years old. At 60 years old, up in the bathroom in my own family's home, home that I had to build when I was at public service. I was like in the doghouse in my home because of my addiction. The day before I came here, I was in the, in the bathroom sleeping. Skinny, blacker than this, because you don't dehydrate your body, you don't beer, you don't clean your teeth, you don't hygiene is out of your head, you don't think you're interested in getting drugs. You know, I was skinny like that. Smelling you wouldn't want to walk there. You know, and to see today, when I come out of my yard, people are like, Morning, Mr. Chamberlain. Morning. How you doing, God? Pray for me when you go. And all these different things coming at me. Mm -hmm. Gotta thank God for that. 